Welcome to the Daily Quiz Podcast. Today's category is Art and Literature. Let's get to it. Question 1. Which famous book contains the line, It is a truth universally acknowledged that a single man in possession of a good fortune must be in one of a wife? The answer is Pride and Prejudice. Did you know that the famous opening line of Pride and Prejudice was almost completely different? Jane Austen originally wrote, It is a truth universally acknowledged that a single man in possession of a good fortune must be in one of a wife, however little known the feelings or views of such a man may be on his first entering a neighborhood. Thankfully, her editor convinced her to cut it down to the now iconic phrase we all know and love. Question 2. This statue was found on the Greek island of Melos in 1820. The answer is Venus de Milo. The Venus de Milo, also known as Aphrodite of Milos, is a marble statue depicting the goddess Venus or Aphrodite. It was discovered in 1820 on the Greek island of Melos by a peasant who was digging for marble building blocks. The statue is believed to have been created between 130 and 100 BCE and is now displayed at the Louvre Museum in Paris, France. Interestingly, the arms of the statue were never found and it remains a mystery whether they were intentionally removed or lost over time. Question 3. This is the choice and arrangement of words and phrases in a literary work. It is the vocabulary that the author, poet, or playwright uses to create style and effect in a piece of writing. The answer is... Diction. Did you know that the choice of diction can greatly impact the tone and mood of a literary work? For example, using formal language can create a serious and somber tone, while using colloquial language can create a more lighthearted and casual tone. So next time you're reading a book or poem, pay attention to the author's diction and how it affects your interpretation of the piece. Question 4. American writers who has written under the name Richard Bachman? The answer is Stephen King. Stephen King, one of the most famous American writers, has written under the pseudonym Richard Bachman. He used this name to publish several novels, including Thinner and The Running Man, in order to see if his success was due to his writing ability or just his name recognition. However, fans eventually discovered that Bachman was actually king in disguise. Question 5. What is the art of tracing designs and making impressions of them called? The answer is... Lithography. Did you know that the art of lithography was invented in 1796 by a German playwright named Alois Senefelder? He originally used it as a cheap way to print his plays, but soon realized its potential for creating high-quality prints and artwork. Lithography has since become a popular technique for artists and printers alike. Question 6. In the Dr. Seuss books, which elephant hatched an egg? The answer is Horton. Did you know that Horton the elephant, who famously hatched an egg in Dr. Seuss's book of the same name, was actually inspired by a real-life elephant? In 1940, while on a safari in Kenya, Seuss and his wife came across a herd of elephants. One elephant in particular caught their attention as she carefully tended to her young calf this moment served as the inspiration for Horton's character and his unwavering dedication to protecting his egg. Question 7. Who wrote The Rime of the Ancient Mariner? The answer is Samuel Taylor Coleridge. Samuel Taylor Coleridge wrote The Rime of the Ancient Mariner in 1798 as part of his and William Wordsworth's joint publication, Lyrical Ballads. 
The poem tells the story of a sailor who shoots an albatross and is cursed with bad luck as a result. It is considered one of Coleridge's most famous works and has been interpreted in various ways, including as a commentary on guilt, redemption, and environmentalism. Question 8. Impressionists whose favorite model was Gabriel, his housekeeper. The answer is Pierre-Auguste Renoir. Pierre-Auguste Renoir, the famous French Impressionist painter, had a favorite model named Gabrielle who was his housekeeper. He painted her in several of his works, including Gabrielle with a rose and Gabrielle in a red blouse. Interestingly, Gabrielle was not just a model but also became Renoir's lover and the mother of his children. Question 9. Who created the saint? The answer is Leslie Charteris. Leslie Charteris, the creator of The Saint, was not only a prolific writer but also a skilled artist. He designed the iconic stick figure logo that became synonymous with his famous character, Simon Templer. In fact, Charteris was so talented that he even illustrated some of his own book covers. Question 10. Which M. Forster novel features the Schlegel sisters? The answer is Howard's End. Howard's End is a novel by E. M. Forster that explores the social and economic differences between three families in Edwardian England. The Schlegel sisters, Margaret and Helen, are central characters who represent different perspectives on life and love. Margaret is practical and level-headed while Helen is impulsive and passionate. The novel's themes of class struggle, gender roles, and cultural clashes still resonate with readers today. Question 11. Which author penned the novel titled, Far From the Madding Crowd? The answer is Thomas Hardy. Thomas Hardy, the author of Far From the Matting Crowd, was a prolific writer who also worked as an architect. He designed his own home, Max Gate, which is now a museum dedicated to his life and works. Hardy's writing often explored themes of rural life and the struggles of ordinary people in Victorian England. Thanks for joining us on this artistic journey through the pages of literature. We hope you painted a masterpiece with your knowledge and had a novel time. I'm Montgomery Jones. And I'm Amalia Dupre. Let's part ways for now, until tomorrow arrives. This episode is produced by Classic Studios. See the show notes page for sources and credits. Check out our other podcasts in our network at ClassicStudios.com.